Hi, this is Trajan Sheth. Let me introduce myself. I am a supply chain manager for the last 15 years in one of the world-renowned home appliance companies. So I work in every field from the procurement to the warehousing uh, of the supply chain. So I got a lot of experience in that. So my humble request first of all is to you to subscribe my channel though it it uh, act as a catalyst and i work more and more hard to make good videos for you so our objective is to clear the ccp and enhance our supply chain knowledge let's go for ccp lecture 9 module 1 book 1 chapter 3 supply chain management strategy topic 1 objective of the supply chain management so what are the objectives of the supply chain management Whenever you go in a company, you need to keep in mind these five are the objectives of the supply chain management. Number one is implement three V's, increase visibility, increase in velocity, reduce variability in the flow of the goods, services, fund and information. At the, at the, at the right bottom of my slide, you can see that there are like increase in the visibility increase in the velocity and decrease in the variability second one increase in increase sustainability improve the management of risk improve the market knowledge streamline operations so as a supply chain professionals whenever you go to the company you have to look on five things as the objective of the supply chain management so here we go number one Implementing three V's increase visibility, increase in velocity, reduce variability in the flow of goods, service, funds, information. So first topic, first thing, you know, we can discuss what is visibility. According to the Apex 15 edition, the ability to view the important information throughout the, throughout the supply chain, no matter where in facility our supply chain, the information is located. We're going to go for... Uh, look at you know at the picture at the right side so our objective is to increase the visibility so visibility <clears throat> i'm going to give you example so you understand it quickly so how we have increased the visibility okay right now there is there's an example that how the visibility is increased and what the, is the impact of this visibility increase like the 500 you know uh, diapers sold in in the in the Walmart and the point of the sales data instantly you know move to the warehouses and warehouses send the stock required uh, for the replenishment of of the Walmart so this one second it is same data the point of sales data 500 or 5000 diapers sold is is given to the manufacturer so he take actions accordingly and same information is given to the facility of the supplier of the components which give, which give the component supplies to the manufacturer of the diapers so one information of the point of sale is moved to the warehouses one manufacturer two supplier of the component three so this is an example it can be much and much entities involved in that and it result in uh, so another point better visibility result so here we goes for the increase in the velocity let's move in fast the definition and this important stuff the flow of information physical materials services cash information returns for the reverse flow of the product for the repair recycling disposal benefit from being increased in speed and efficiency now how apex define it a term used to indicate the relative speed of all transactions collectively within a supply chain community a maximum velocity is more desirable because it indicates a high asset turnover for the, the stakeholders and faster order to deliver response for the customers so it's good for the customers it's good for the investors so how so so i give you a very basic uh, thing to understand it you know you need to to increase the velocity you need to increase the flow of the product material cash collection information and information and return products okay return product and recycle so we counted one by one like relying on more rapid transportation like you have 
fast transportation so you you speedily re, uh, recomplish uh, the the inventory in the store second is to reduce the time low inventory you have to reduce the inventory uh, turnover you have to increase the inventory turnover so thus you need to have speedily move the existing inventory in your warehouse so that increase the inventory turnover you have to rely on just in time sort of uh, techniques then we come on eliminating eliminating all the activities that are not necessary so your work will be fast and again in speed speeding up the flow of demand cash as well as velocity of inventory the more rapidly payment are received from the customer the sooner the money can be put in work in the business are disposed at internet interest information about the demand chain is critical when the competitor strategy is responsiveness hope you understand it's, it's not that difficult if any question you can write it down i can answer it okay no. so we're going to discuss the reduced variability so increasing in uh, velocity and visibility will reduce the variability variability is the natural tendency of the result of business activity to fluctuate above and below an average value such as fluctuation around the average time to completion average number of defects average daily sales average production yield so you can see that in average daily average you know sales you can have like uh, 1000 average sales you have calculated are for the for certain month of january you have 1000 sales of diapers but if the diaper sales go like 200 then it's also a variability if diaper sales go for 1500 so it's it's an also variability so if uh, variability you know the diaper sales increase like instead of like 1000 average there is a sales of 1500 diapers so you, then you need to add the uh, safety stock so the traditional offset against the variability is safety stock so supply chain manager also able to reduce the amount of safety stock this is an other objective of the supply chain manager so let's discuss about two things about the variability the, uh, like demand variability and the supply variability so here we discuss about the demand variability so demand variability you can see um, in the snap that is from the bullwell effect like a customer given un sudden and you know random and unrealistic order uh, due to unknown reasons he just give what's come in mind and he gives like 500 orders and the retailer think there's a high demand and he just give 1000 order and the distributor think that there's a high demand and he give 1500 or on like orders and the factory think maybe 2000 orders required and the supplier then give 2500 order, order so all this chain increase it so so from customer to the supplier there is a bull will effect and small demand uncertainty became more and more distorted and the picture is you now go um, go that way so here other game comes the supply uh, variability okay supply variability normally increase in wave down the chain starting small amount at the resource attraction sites and uh, end up in the large amount at the retail of the chain so we discuss it like in a wave you know thing in a wave like first we discuss how it, it it is in the waves like for example uh, at one year there, there may be more cultivation of wheat products and due to more supply the price of the wheat goes down in the market and the next year that means the next wave the farmer cultivate less wheat due to expectations that wheat prices may go down uh, due to large cultivation so each individual thinks that there may be a large cultivation and they make the decision at their own and cultivate in in small uh, uh, low you know uh, cultivate the wheat on the less area uh, agricultural land so that goes you know this variation you know what happened the 
the the next period even each farmer cultivate less um land for the wheat so eventually the wheat supply is short uh at at the end of the retail chain the wheat supply is short and uh here comes the variability in the supply so i hope you understand this so let's discuss the finishing point so you increase the visibility along the chain so everybody can view the what the information is going from point of, point of sales to uh even the supplier of the components of the manufacturer wholesaler so regardless of where the facility is so all information is visible so you reduce the variability the deviation from the average result you increase the velocity so you increase the transaction shipment time everything you do so that does also reduce the variability you know you ship this you you fulfill the demand in time so your sales will be according to your you know target like you delay in your shipment velocity your velocity to ship the product is less so you will unable to fulfill the demand and someone else will fill it so increasing the visibility increasing the velocity will reduce the variability the, the deviation from the the deviation from the standard or average results of sales or deliveries whatsoever is thank you